Good evening, everyone. Syracuse police have been dealing with a rash of gun violence over the past 24 hours. Officers responding to eight separate shootings. Nine people have been struck by gunfire, two of those incidents resulting in homicides. Tonight, Adrian Smith spoke with Syracuse Police Chief Kenton Buckner about what can be done to stop the violence. Violent crime has remained a, a kind of a thorn in our side. Syracuse Police Chief Kenton Buckner describes this past weekend full of violence as tough and brutal. A total of eight shootings, nine people struck, two of those incidents resulting in homicides. I feel like that my police department is taxed. Uh, I feel like that we've been through uh, bail reform, we've been through a pandemic, we've been through uh, protests, we've been through police, we're going through police reform, uh, all of which, some of which we had no control over, some of, some of which there's a very notable and valid conversation that needed to be had in the form of, of bail reform and also the police reform that, that we're currently in. Uh, th those conversations need to be had. And with all of those challenges and conversations, Buckner says his department has a lot on its shoulders. I will tell you that I felt like that because of all of the things that we've been dealing with uh, externally, I think that we've become somewhat reactive uh, and we need to immediately change that posture to a proactive uh, stance. Buckner's goal for the Syracuse Police Department is to work with the community to reduce violence in the city. We have a lot on us, but uh, we're used to performing under difficult circumstances, uh, and, I, and I think the department will uh, get our arms around this at, at some point. So far this year, there have been a total of 17 homicides, and the chief says that 10 of those have been solved and they're still under investigation. In Syracuse, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9.